Welcome to the Blood Knight. I am Icarus, and this is our new Let's Play. I'm uh, excited to share this with you. And uh, before we get into Velen Indriel's story, I'd like to explain how we're going to be playing this character. We are playing on Legendary Difficulty. Let's double check. Legendary Difficulty. And uh, we have lots of mods that make the gameplay very, very hard. Um, there are several vampire mods and also blood mat bl hemomancy mods that we're going to be running with this character. Um, I'm going to have a mod list on the bottom of the screen, but I kind of would just like to uh, show you guys his skills rather than tell you about him right out of the gate. But without further ado, this is Velen. Velen is a blood knight. He was sired by Lord Harkon, and uh, he is, uh, his nickname is Harkon's Wrath. And so he is sent out to take care of difficult jobs for Lord Harkon. Harkon. He has been in a vampiric state of tor torpor, I think it's called, uh, where he has basically slumbered for almost a hundred years, 75 years. And he has been awakened to take care of several things. Uh, the first on the docket is he is hunting a vampire who has been moving through Skyrim. His name is Hasim Dragos. And Hasim Dragos is bringing a lot of attention, unwanted attention, to the va vampires at large, but also the Volkahar clan. Um, Harkon has some big thing that he is doing, and he does not need... Let's take off his hood. He does not need that type of attention. So, yeah, look at that hair. Come on. Styling. Um, so, um, the second thing is, the Volkahar clan is at war with several other vampire clans. And so, the Blood Knight is going to be... He's sent out to take care of these however he deems necessary. Whether that through um, creating an alliance or through full-out uh, decimation, uh, Blood Knight style. Uh, you guys saw what he's capable of, but right now, he is on level two. We have one perk point, um, but his skills, all his magic, everything is at, it's, it's, it's pretty low. He still has uh, his vampire lord form, but that's why he has his crossbow, because he doesn't really have much of anything. He has his vampire drain and a couple of other skills in here, but um, he's very low level right now. Um, the reason is, is well, he's been asleep forever, so it's going to take time for him to gain his strength. Um, he is, he does have the potential to be a very, very powerful vampire if he survives. But anyways, uh, we are at the rift. And the reason we're in Riften right now is Harkon, through connections, uh, sent Velen out here to do mercenary work for a woman of renown, or uh, what's renown? Uh, she's not exactly, she's in infamous, infamy, that's right, uh, Maven Blackbriar. So he's going to be doing many quests to for uh, Maven Blackbriar. There's two reasons. One of them is these are low-level um, contracts that he's going to be doing for her, so it's going to give him some space to be able to grow in his power uh, before he starts pursuing higher-level or high, more difficult missions. Uh, but the other thing is um, the Volkahar will be able to gain a powerful political ally. So... That being said, I think we've covered everything we need to. This was a house that was given to us. So I'll show you guys this house. Uh, this is uh, its pretty simple, but uh, the Blood Knight doesn't need a lot. We have this food. This is just, uh, you know, so uh, people see us as a vampire. But this is a feature that Velen put up on his own. So... There's one thing that I need to fix, uh, and that is with my needs mod. Just notice something. We are immortal, but we do get thirsty and hungry. So we're going to leave here. 
the first thing on the docket is to infiltrate the thieves guild um why are we doing that well intel uh the first thing we we're a great warrior but uh without intel or knowing where these vampire clans are or where this uh red guard assassin vampire assassin are uh, we can't fight and so we're gonna go and infiltrate the thieves guild climb the ranks do whatever we need to do and uh hold there before I let you into through rest, them, you need to pay the visitors. Through tax. them, we will be able to get information. Uh, what's the tax for? For the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? Uh, this is obviously a shakedown. Keep your voice down. You want everyone to hear you? So the, the person, the personality of the Blood Knight. Before I go in there, I want to go over this. I just know there's going to be a ton of talking. Uh, the personality of the B Blood Knight, he essentially comes from nobility. He is a vampire lord. Uh, emphasis on lord. And so he's a man of few words. Uh, he does have virtue for a vampire. He does have honor. Um, we'll show those faithless but he still is 100% a vampire. So, yeah. The, he follows a specific set of tenets that were taught to him. Let's put his hood back on. He is a vampire, and those rays are probably pretty harsh. So yeah, we'll go. We'll go into his uh, into the statutes of a vampire, Blood Knight. Looking for trouble? Just passing through. Yeah. Well, I got news for you. There's nothing to see here. Last thing the Black Briars need is some stranger sticking their nose where it it's doesn't like rain. belong. Who are the Black Briars? Well, we know who the Black Briars the are, Black but Briars we'll, we'll play coy. Pocket, and the Thieves Guild watching their back, so keep your nose out of their business. Me, I'm Maul. I watch the streets for them. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. Dirt, huh? I'm not exactly clean myself. And we're speaking the same language. Good. So what do you want to know? Tell me about the Thieves Guild. You're kidding. My brother Dirge works in their hideout. I used to run with them myself, but took a job with Maven after they started hitting a rough patch. Mm. If you want to get in on that action, find Brynjolf in the marketplace. I'm sure he can use someone like you. Tell me about the Blackbriars. Oh, you got Maven. She pretty much runs the whole operation. She's got friends in high places, if you know what I mean. She's also got ties to the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves Guild, so basically no one can touch it. Just remember, if she tells you to do something, you damn well better do exactly what she says. Okay. So we're gonna go into the tavern just to get out of the rain. I'm sure there's gonna be tons of talking in here, but that's fine. If you've got the coin, you've got the coin. Let me turn down the master volume just a tad okay so the interaction between him and maven will not be uh ever one-on-one -on -one. they will not really acknowledge each other the idea is for him to be able to observe what's go what's going on around her um he's basically uh that the intention is for him to be able to once again infiltrate people that are trying to backstab uh, steal from her so um you will be checking out the brewery he will be doing many different things for her so but he will never really talk directly to her uh but they will be handing him missions uh if not he will just find them himself so he will also uh work on growing or protecting the rift um the rift is what Maven Blackbriar makes her money off of, so. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands Let I have a letter. Looks like that's it. Go. Uh oh. Alright, let's uh Alright, well. Let's just take his uh, note. So I think one of the first things we're gonna do is uh 
is super loud on my end. Let's just get out of here. One of the first things that we're going to do is um, find and see if uh, this old vampire like saloon is still here. Um, we know all the vampire nooks and crannies and uh, there might be something in here. It's been a long time since we've been here so skin us alive if they knew we were All right. doing this. We're going to take these two down. No reaction? All right. We're living in a sewer. You see the house is making the black riders by now. All right, sir. I don't know why these guys aren't reacting, but What are you doing? What are you doing? We are not on the same side, good sir. All right. So, I did say that he does have a form of virtue, but that doesn't apply to uh, cutthroats and marauders. He'll cut them down. He wants their blood, quite literally. All right, so there is another couple mods I want to show you guys. Right now, this first episode is just kind of setting up the Blood Knight. So yeah, see, the, so in every city, there's going to be some type of uh, vam vampire hideout. This is one of them. Um, there will be, um, I think they're called thralls, cattle, here. Are you sleeping in there? Okay, no. There should be a vampire in here. All right, so are there any thrall? Yes, there are. All right, cattle. All right, so let's uh, drain him. We will not kill them. That's not very polite. Okay, so they he is drained. Eventually, okay. Before I make that point, I'm gonna show you the other mod. Okay, so we can sleep or we can hibernate. What does hibernate do? takes us into this dream state what do you do in this dream state well there's a ton of vampire skills these are the vampire skills that are um, that every vampire will get um, and when we level up so we there's this vampire that is connected to I think sacrosanct I think I'm saying that right um, but then there's this one and this one, as we level it up, we will get potencies, which is perks. And there's different types of perks. I'll, I'll show you guys a couple. Uh, dead body. Gain increased resistance to normal weapons. Damage base on vampire stages, but all neutral healing effects are reduced by 90%. So it's kind of nice. There's uh, good good and positives to the perks. Uh, I like that. So, um, But there's these three. They're not clans, but they're specialty perk trees. Um, I'll save and reload, but I'll show you guys one of them. So this one is the blood curse tree. This one is the death curse, basically necromancy. I might be doing this one. I'm interested in doing the blood one and that one. But they're difficult to get. You only can pick one at first. And then this one is like for nightmares. So I'll just show you one of them. Um, let me show you the... Let's show you the blood one. He's a hemomancer, so... Alright, look at that. So, here are some of the perks. Adds the ability to feed on targets below 25% health or that are fleeing and dealing 50% of your target's health and damage. Um, let me sh see if I... Butcher, so I like this one. Attacks with weapons inflict bleed on targets dealing five points of damage per second for 20 seconds it's incredibly powerful so there's just on natural strength power attacks have a 40 percent chance to send targets flying 10 percent chance per blood potency so these perks just allow him to become that much more powerful which that's what we're looking for this uh 
this character is not your average character. I don't think you can save in this space. So I think it took me back to this beginning part. Did it? Yeah, it did. That's fine. We'll repeat this. Um, I don't know, Trough. All right. Your side. You know what? Let's uh, see if we can talk this out. Empty your pockets or end up as Skiva food. I've killed dozens like you. I doubt that very much. Never. Okay. So this is playing out a little bit differently. Watch out! Got him, got him, got him! Okay, we are not invincible by any means. So this is our first real combat. Ancient soil, what does that do? Alright, let's just engage him. Eventually we're gonna get a, a shield. Whoa, 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 Bob and Weaver. Okay, come on. Alright. Um, also, I wanna talk about our custom perk trees that I've kind of put together on a Google spreadsheet. Um, I only can access new spells, vamp vampire lord perks, uh, those other custom perks by getting blood points. Blood points are, and I do this almost with all my specialty characters, I get 10, for every 10 people I kill, I get one blood point. So um, in the beginning, we will be getting blood points very, very rarely, but Okay. Got another guy over there. No reason to uh, face him down. I uh, kind of envision this character's personality to be uh, very, uh, very. Let's pick this up. Or no, we'll start Hunter Born. Um, very art of war. Um, he's willing to do whatever he needs to do to win. And for instance, even though he is a vampire of power, he knows that sometimes it's good to faint weakness. Um, to make your enemies appear, make your enemies believe that uh, you're not a threat. Uh, that's not true at all. Velen is is a threat and uh, can rip apart uh, clans or, or anybody else who stands before him. Maybe, maybe not right now, but in the future for sure. So, um, but I think this is a good introductory episode. Uh, in the next episode, I think we're going to attempt to join the Thieves Guild. Um, I'm going to want to put some skills, I think, in the sneak tree. If we're going to want to have a chance to do that. So, uh, we are a knight. We're not exactly a uh, thief. But, uh, you know, being a vampire is going to help. So, I thank you guys for watching the first episode of Blood Knight. And I will see you in the next episode.